Okay, well, hello everyone. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, today in this example, we will actually discuss uh, how a beam of electron uh, can go fast uh, within the CRT cathode ray tube of uh, TVs. So basically, that was long time ago. All TVs had in the back of them something like you know, um, this is like how the old TV looked like. So if you if you look at in the back of your TV here, it's like there's it's bulged outside, indented outside like this. All old TVs are like that. Actually, this is just like a cathode ray tube that spits out a beam of electrons, and through electric fields and magnetic fields, they direct this beam of electron, and it just hits the screen and makes the image. It does what it's called rastering. That's 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 what it is actually. So the beam of the electron is made here and accelerated through a huge potential difference, 5,000 volts. So now we need to find the speed or the velocity at which the electrons hit the screen. Okay. Um, since the electrons are accelerated from rest, uh, we have in the past derived an equation how to use. Uh, conservation of mechanical energy and we arrived at this nice equation the charge times the voltage difference is equal to basically one half times mass times the velocity square now the charge of the electron is given it's equal to 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 coulomb and the, 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 the potential difference not the velocity that's why it's written in uppercase. It is actually 5,000 volts. So 5,000 volts, and that must be equal to one half times the mass of the electron. That also would be given. It's 9.11 times 10 to minus 31 kilogram. All right, and the only unknown, as you can see, is the velocity squared or the velocity of the electrons. Uh, after plugging in these numbers and using the calculator, you can find the velocity of the electron as it hits the screen is 4.2 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second. And that's a, a huge, a huge velocity, as you can see. Now, let's see part two. Let's find the kinetic energy of the electrons, both in joules and the electrons. And an electron volt and the reason we just wanted to do that is as a practice we already found the velocity so kinetic energy is equal to one half m of the electrons times velocity of the electrons uh, velocity squared and that would be one half times 9.11 times 10 to minus 31 for the masses of the electron times the velocity which we found here uh, 4.2 times 10 to the power 7 meters per second and that's squared and if you do this calculation you are going to find that the kinetic energy is equal to 8 times 10 to minus 16 joules so that actually provides a very good evidence that we need a smaller energy unit for that. Look, this is 8 times 10 to minus 16 joules. It's very small. Okay, so the electron volt is a measure of energy that comes handy within these situations. Okay, so you know, for example, that one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to minus 19 joules. All right. Now, how many electron volts here is equal to our 8 times 10 to minus 16 joules, okay? So basically, you want to do some kind of like a type of unit conversion. And the way you can do that is just like uh, multiply this number by this number and divide them by this number, okay? And you will end up by canceling units and ending up with electron volt, you will find that this is equal to 5,000 electron volt, okay? 
and maybe you can write it this way too so it's going to be 5 kilo electron volt if you want to all right kilo is 1000 all right and that's it for this problem thank you